Hey folks, Wish SE. I've had several requests from people asking me for my thoughts on reloading, especially as it relates to being more economical from a shooting standpoint. I've been using a Dillon Press, a progressive loader, for 25 years or something. This is the same press. So there are other options to the Dillon Press and uh, certainly, you know, I'm not saying one is better than the other. What I am saying is this press has been around and literally loaded tens of thousands of pistol uh, rounds. So everything from 9mm to 40 to 45 to 38 special. So I've got the dies for all of that. This is Dylan's kind of lower end progressive. Uh, it's the Square Deal B. It's been rebuilt a couple of times. So one great thing about the Dillon presses is a lifetime warranty. Something breaks, they fix it. So I had some issues. The base broke uh, probably after, I don't know, 80,000 rounds or something. And so um, they replaced that and at the same time rebuilt the press. And since the time, it's been, it's been great. So I wanted to talk today about shooting more economically buying, in this case we're going to talk about 9mm rounds, so depending on how you buy your ammunition, you can buy it obviously by the box in a retail environment and pay, you know, depending on where you get it, somewhere between maybe 12 up to $20 uh, for 50 rounds. With reloading, you can cut that cost significantly. What I, my rough calculation, and they're fairly rough, is that per round, uh, I am uh, in the you know 14 cent, 13 to 15 cent range, depending on uh, what kind of bullet head that I'm using and uh, some some other factors like that. What most reloaders will tell you is that once you get the press set up, so the you know how deep the powder measure, how deep your bullet is seated, the overall length of that casing, all of that kind of stuff. It's a pretty straight ahead procedure and with a progressive loading system like this, every time I'm pulling the handle, I'm advancing around. Uh, and so what I found is I'm doing about 100 rounds every 15 minutes, give or take. So I can sit down here for an hour and load up probably, you know, 350, 400 rounds uh, depending on whether or not I'm, I'm kind of in a groove. So there are many people who will take a great deal of time being really specific about measuring uh, their ammunition and um, the, uh, they'll gauge check every single one, they'll check every single primer for its seating depth and, and on and on. I tend to just load in volume and means, and you guys have seen it on the videos, I get those malfunctions occasionally and that's usually because the primer has not been seated all the way and therefore when the striker hits that or the firing pin hits the uh, primer, the primer is extended back far enough that it's not going to ignite the primer. Bottom line, you can be as detailed and as focused on being you know really quality minded as you want. In my opinion a couple of uh, type 1 malfunction clearance drills every time you're shooting the, the pistol is a pretty good thing to happen um, and usually what I do is I'll just take those, uh, those rounds and try to shoot them again um, or take them apart and reuse the components. So again, Square Deal B, I'm just going to show you the way uh, this operates in the subsequent video in terms of the steps that we go through measuring the charge and then actually uh, running the rounds through and manufacturing our own ammunition. So anyway, that's a quick look in my initial thoughts on loading can be much more economical if you're shooting a lot and you know I consider a reasonable amount of practice for you know someone who's into it is you know at least a thousand rounds a month so 250 rounds a week you know somewhere in like that reloading really pays for itself very shortly it's a great return on investment and it gives you a lot of control of the type of ammunition that you're making both from a uh, quantity standpoint but as important uh, quality standpoint you can change uh, lighter, hotter loads. You can work on really developing a precise precision load. Uh, one of my friends, uh, Bob, is an outstanding uh, pistol shooter and he spends a lot of time, his accuracy is they're all in the same hole, 
Uh, and that's because he spends a lot of time setting up and really figuring out that perfect round for his handgun and as a result he's got some really really good accuracy. So it gives you a lot more control and the bottom line is it can save you a lot of money. If you like this video or any of the videos that we produce click the thumbs up icon, share it with your friends and family and finally and as always stay safe.